What is going on, Lunatic Fringe? Guys, we've got we got to go over something. Uh, there's a little bit more burning than there has been in a little while. Still seems to be nice. We've got an uptick in the amount of traffic, it looks like, that's moving around here. And we're going to go back to this tax to gas proposal because this represents a game changer. And we're going to look at some of the ins and outs. This is going to lead to a repeg. This is where we are. So if you like this type of content, you know what to do. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell to be notified. If nothing else, hit that like button. Doesn't hurt your thumb, doesn't hurt your pointer finger, doesn't cost you anything. So let's talk about tax to gas. All right, so going back over this proposal again, what was uh, what was the overview? Uh, and since late 2022, Terra Classic been employing burn tax, uh, which was the inherent idea from stability uh, tax only serve USTC. It is noticeable there have been several issues such as contract developers need to calculate the tax manually, clients or dApps have to calculate tax themselves, and migrating audited dApps becomes cumbersome due to these classic S uh, specific adjustments leading to potential re-audits. It's, it's expensive. It, it's not worth it for a lot of these developers. And we need to be better. We need to be able to do something better. So that's the reason that we're looking at this. Now, this occurred uh, not that long ago, and this was the proposal 11873. And that's, we're going to beg the question here, what is tax to gas? It's one of the new burning mechanisms helps to reduce the supply of LUNC and USTC. This is what we want, okay? Even though there is an existing token burning mechanism, the uh, community believes that tax to gas is more efficient. It's a way of introducing token burning directly to the LUNC gas fees. Thus, the new tax to gas proposal simplifies the LUNC token burning, eliminating separate implementation and heavy calculations. So as far as gas fees go, uh, if we raise the gas fee just even slightly for transactions, it's going to be a non-starter because some of these dApps rely on that low gas transaction fee. However, within that, there is still some opportunity for a burn on every single transaction, whether it be Luna Classic or USTC. And remember, we don't have anything set up right now on USTC where we're getting a significant amount of burn. So the Terra Unit Classic community opined that it is important to bring back developers onto its blockchain to revive it fully. Of course, uh, the community recently proposed an increase in burn tax to 1.5 cents. Now, that is probably not... Uh, it, that could be a non-starter. I don't know how this ends up. Uh, and I think here we're going to be innovative. And I think that, you know, some of us might be able to figure ways around it, or at least the people that are currently building on the chain, we'll have to go back and reanalyze the way things are being built. It, do something because um, the community matters and the community would like to see some sort of burn. And, you know, if we can come up with a good concept and good reason here, this could be the thing. Binance contributed to almost 50% of the lunk burns so far and holds a crucial place in the overall lunk burning. Uh, however, here's the thing. We know that's not enough. We know that that will never get us where we want to be. So there has to be some change at some point. Now, with that being the case, the question would be, you know, where does that go from here? We can do some guessing. We can do some, some uh, analysis. We'll try to figure out what that number is. I don't know what it looks like, but um, I'm going to take a wild guess over the next couple of days and just see what the amount of burns would look like versus the amount that Binance is burning. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to make a few assumptions and I'll come to you on Monday with my idea and whether or not this is a really solid idea. It's not up for proposal yet, so nobody has to vote. So we're going to look uh, deeper into tax to gas, make a few estimates and see exactly what it would look like based on the mechanism, the way it's set up. So let's look at price action. Fundamentally, nothing has changed. Uh, remember, we were trading it around between 11, 8, and 12, 1 yesterday, and we continue to consolidate in that sideways position at 11,009 right now. Uh, overall market up about $6 billion on the day. Nothing to write home about, but nothing to be ashamed of either. It's not a bad pump. Uh, I think everybody's kind of with bated breath waiting for Ethereum to, to get on its pump because I, you know, with the Ethereum ETFs coming, that's probably going to be the next meta, if you will. And then once that's done, maybe that money starts to cascade down and come into riskier projects in the minds of investors. So that leads to Luna Classic. Probably going to get a pump out of this pretty soon. And again, uh, it looks like this comes up to 22. If it breaks that uh, and holds it as support on a breakout, then of course that takes us all the way up to, I think, three zeros, 32. And then from there, you know, if we continue, then there's a um, there's price discovery 
which, you know, we have to look at it from that way, even though, look, we've been way higher before, but price discovery puts us in this, this upper sort of echelon. And of course, again, you know, the, the simplest thing is here, if you burn half of the supply today, then you would effectively around double the price. So um, you would be at three zeros, 22, you'd be exactly where you are right now. So th there's some work to do. There's some, some, uh, or, or exactly where I estimated, my, my bad, uh, where, I, where I estimated we would be pumping to anyway, because I gave it kind of a 100% uh, pump at this point through this sort of, uh, the, the way that it's just kind of working itself out. So um, that's how it looks. I mean, that's what I I think will play out. USTC, a little bit more robust than what I thought. Now, here's the good part. The good part is it broke out kind of breaking sideways though. So when we look at it from this context, could have some downward momentum coming back down into 21, but it really does look like it's sort of broken out. If that's the case, then we could be looking at six cents coming very, very soon for USTC because, you know, the last time we got this kind of pump right here. So you're going to probably see, you know, certainly some resistance right there at that four and a half cent sort of range. Uh, but then as you zoom out, you're going to see, you know, up here, you're going to get about six cents. Um, and then on and on up into this range right here. So it could be that we're set for a nice little breakout on USTC. Uh, now, the one thing that I would stress here is that RSI looks pretty overbought at this point. So I would expect to see some sideways movement to give it an opportunity to kind of come down a little bit on that sideways action to this range here. Uh, we want new buyers stepping in and that would kind of allow for that to happen at this sort of range. And I think that's what it's doing. So uh, that's, I, I think it's coming. So um, as far as coin haul, you got uh, L sphere up four X on the day. Uh, there's a few of them out here. You can see them that they're, they're down a little bit on the day, a little money being shuffled around station governance proposal is still just the message community pool spend. That's the only one you can see how everybody votes over here. Um, Volume up a little bit, 116% on the day. Uh, I don't get excited about 116% uh, increase because it's been down a lot. We need to see about a 400, 500% increase from here to, to show a little confidence in the process. So we'll see how this all plays out. Of course, USTC up 300% to 42 million. There's been a lot of movement there. Again, I think that, you know, it seems to be bubbling under the surface, if you will, getting ready to break out. Also, uh, if you check out Lunk metrics, uh, there's 1.6 billion that's been burned, but Lunk 420 has been doing some significant burns for the last little while. Uh, 1.285 million that happened on June 7, and then another 250,000 starting to work their way up the ranks. So Lunk 420 uh, starting to have uh, an impact over here, making some uh, making some pretty good move. This continues. This is going to end up being one of those significant sort of new burn uh, processes and protocols. Now let's look at the project of the day. I want to skip forward to a little a, a little bit to, to get you guys informed, and that's going to be Miata. So if you're not following it already, go to uh, Twitter, and it's at Miata, M-I-A-T-A underscore I-O. And uh, you can click over here. And of course, Telegram is going to be the same thing. Miata underscore I-O. It's an NFT marketplace. And this is what it looks like. So I'm already connected with it. Um, you can go through the collections. You can explore the collections. It's a very simple and clean user interface. We're going to click on explore. And then when you get into explore, then most of the things that we've talked about and that we've seen over and over and over again, they're here as well. So you're looking at, remember the galactic shift card game, which we, you got nine days before the contest is over. Cryptonomy.finance is giving away a hundred thousand USD worth of Pepe. Not only that, we've got a mobile app coming very, very soon. Uh, we're also launching a public partnership with a strong team. Uh, it's going to result in one of the best exchanges on the market. Also, you're going to get some unique marketing information from Cryptonomy if you sign up today and you'll get some trading opportunities for free. Cryptonomy.finance giving away $100,000 worth of USD. Pepe. This is going to take you through a 100 billion. I think Pepe is going to be the first 100 billion uh, crypto in meme coins. So don't miss out on this opportunity. Sign up today. Helps me out tremendously. Cryptonomy.finance. Don't forget it. We have been talking about then here's the heroes here's the alliance for air force lunk we talked about this one over at uh big bang x and then we've got lunk force labs we've got medicina medicinal nft sorry 
Uh, we've got Bay Studio, Dragon Boy. Uh, we've got Frogs Kaiju, Football Legend. Uh, we've got the Miata Foundation, Rugby Legend, Lunk Battle Force, Art in Bits, Lunk Cadets, Land of Kongs. Uh, quite a few different collections out here. Plenty of different opportunities. Remember, these are the, the games that we talk about all the time. Terra Tritium. Um, so, you know, you can come over here and check it out. Lunk Pepe. Uh, you, you know where some of these things are, and you've got Lunk and Dead over here. Um, so I would recommend that you go check this out on the Miata app. Uh, it's Miata.io, and then, of course, check through the collections and get an idea of what some of these look like. Like, this is Lunk Fury. This is what they look like, um, the, the different color schemes, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, and you can see what their levels are, common, uncommon, legendary, and they are available for outright purchase or to bid on. So um, you can uh, certainly check them out. And uh, Lunk Fury, they would obviously give you some kind of buff or incentive in a, a game here, Lunk Fury. Uh, so I, I, I think that, that, that that's it. I haven't seen some people lean out uh, in my chat here to talk about this game, if, if, there is a, if there's a game attached here. Uh, and if there's not, and if it's just for future implementation into something, maybe it's going to be a pet game or something like that. So uh, Dragon Builder game or Raise a Dragon, whatever it is, um, you can go check that out. But I digress. Uh, well, there's a whole list and a litany of different options here for you to check out. I've just scrolled through it and there you have it. So that's it, guys. Go check out Miata. Uh, but none of this is possible without the help of our sponsor, Terraport right here. So if you haven't already, consider checking out Terraport uh, for your trading, terraport.finance. Uh, most of these tokens that are in this ecosystem are tradable there. And when I give you the long metrics about burns, then you will see that Terraport way high up in the top 20 in burners, uh, along with Terra Casino. If you want risk-based gaming, then Terra Casino is your place to go. Uh, you can you can, uh, you can can do your risk-based gaming with Bitcoin, with Dogecoin, with Ethereum, with XRP, obviously with Luna Classic. There's a, a litany of choices over there that you can do, and each one of those, uh, any, any portion uh, of the profits goes to burning Luna Classic. They are, in fact, a top five burner, I want to say. So um, sign up Terra Casino and uh, start doing some risk-based gaming today. And you never know. Uh, you might win a bunch. You might burn a bunch. It's not financial advice, but I'm always right.